hello welcome welcome to day 302 of our bible in a year challenge my name is sandra i'm going to be your host for today welcome we are committed to reading our bibles in a year which is less than 20 minutes daily read time yes you heard me right just less than 20 minutes daily read time please kindly go ahead right now subscribe to my youtube channel follow me on facebook on instagram and on TikTok at Sandra Boyo Arulaba. Let's get started. Day 302, October 29th, 2023. 365 Days Bible Reading, Old Testament. Lamentations 2, 7 to 22. Lamentations 3, 1 to 39. New Testament. Philemon 1. Psalms and Proverbs, Psalm 119, verse 1212128. Old Testament NIV version, Lamentations 2, 7 to 22. The Lord has rejected his altar and abandoned his sanctuary. He has given the walls of our palaces into the hands of the enemy. They have raised a shout in the house of the Lord as on the day of an appointed festival. The Lord determined to tear down the wall around daughter Zion. He stretched out a measuring line and did not withhold his hand from destroying. He made ramparts and walls lament. Together they wasted away. Her gates have sunk into the ground. Their bars he has broken and destroyed. Her king and her princes are exiled among the nations. The law is no more and our prophets no longer find visions from the Lord. The elders of daughter Zion sit on the ground in silence. They have sprinkled dust on their heads and put on sackcloth. The young women of Jerusalem have bowed their heads to the ground. My eyes fail from weeping. I am in torment within. My heart is poured out on the ground because my people are destroyed because children and infants fade in the streets of the city they say to their mothers where is bread and wine as they faint like the wounded in the streets of the city as their lives ebb away in their mother's arms what can i say for you with what can i compare you daughter jerusalem to what can i liken you that i may comfort you virgin daughter zion your wound is as deep as the sea. Who can heal you? The visions of your prophets were false and worthless. They did not expose your sins to word of your captivity. The prophecies they gave you were false and misleading. All who pass your way clap their hands at you. They scoff and shake their heads at daughter Jerusalem. Is this the city that was called the perfection of beauty, the joy of the whole earth? All your enemies open their mouths wide against you. They scoff and gnash their teeth and say, We have swallowed her up. This is the day we have waited for. We have lived to see it. The Lord has done what he planned. He has fulfilled his word, which he decreed long ago. He has overthrown you without pity. He has let the enemy gloat over you. He has exalted the horn of your foes. The heart of the people cry out to the Lord. You walls of daughter Zion, let your tears flow like a river day and night. Give yourself no relief for your eyes, no rest. Arise, cry out in the night. As the watches of the night begin, pour out your heart like water in the presence of the Lord. Lift up your hands to him for the lives of your children who faint from hunger at every street corner look lord and consider whom have you ever treated like this should women eat their offspring the children they have cared for should priests and prophets be killed in the sanctuary of the lord Young and old lie together in the dust of the street. My young men and young women have fallen by the sword. They have slain them in the day of your anger. You have slaughtered them without pity. As you summoned to a feast day, so you summoned against me terrors on every side. In the day of the Lord's anger, no one escaped or survived. Those I cared for and read my enemy has destroyed. Lamentations 3, 1 to 39. 
I am the man who was seen afflicted, who has seen affliction by the rod of the Lord's wrath. He has driven me away and made me walk in darkness rather than light. Indeed, he has turned his hand against me again and again all day long. He has made my skin and my flesh grow old and has broken my bones. He has besieged me and surrounded me with bitterness and hardship. He has made me dwell in darkness like those long dead. He has walled me in. So I cannot escape. He has weighed me down with chains. Even when I call out or cry for help, he shouts, he shuts my, shuts out my prayer. He has barred my way with blocks of stone. He has made my paths crooked like a bear lying in wait, like a lion in hiding. He dragged me from the path and mangled me and left me without help. He drew his bow and made me the target for his arrows. He pierced my heart with arrows from his quiver. I became the laughing stock of all my people. They mock me in song all day long. He has filled me with bitter herbs and given me gall to drink. He has broken my teeth with gravel. He has trampled me in the dust. I have been deprived of peace. I have forgotten what prosperity is. So I say, my splendor is gone and all that I had hoped for from the lord i remember my affliction and my wandering the bitterness and the gall i will remember them and my soul is downcast within me yet these i call to mind and therefore i have hope because of the lord's great love we are not consumed for his compassions never fail they are new every morning Great is your faithfulness. I say to myself, the Lord is my portion, therefore I will wait for him. The Lord is good to those whose hope is in him, to the one who seeks him. It is good to wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. It is good for a man to bear the yoke while he is young. Let him sit alone in silence, for the Lord has laid it on him. Let him bury his face in the dust. There may yet be hope. Let him offer his cheek to one who would strike him, and let him be filled with disgrace, for no one is cast off by the Lord forever. Though he brings grief, he will show compassion, so great is his unfailing love. For he does not willingly bring affliction or grief to anyone, to crush on the foot all prisoners in the land, to deny people their rights before the Most High, to deprive them of justice, would not the Lord see such things? Why, who can speak and have it happen if the Lord has not decreed it? Is it not from the mouth of the Most High that both calamities and good things come? Why should the living complain when punished for their sins? New Testament NIV Version Philemon 1 verse 1 to 25 Paul, a prisoner of Christ Jesus, and Timothy, our brother, to Philemon, our dear friend and fellow worker. Also to Aphaia, our sister, and Archippus, our fellow soldier, and to the church that meets in your home. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Thanksgiving and prayer. I always thank my God as I remember you in my prayers because I hear about your love for all his holy people and your faith in the Lord Jesus. I pray that your partnership with us in the faith may be effective in deepening your understanding of every good thing we share for the sake of Christ. Your love has given me great joy and encouragement because you, brother, have refreshed the hearts of the Lord's people. Paul's plea for one Simus. Therefore, although in Christ I could be bold and order you to do what you ought to do, yet I prefer to appeal to you on the basis of love. It is as none other than Paul, an old man and now also a prisoner of Christ Jesus, that I appeal to you for my son one Simus, who became my son while I was in chains. Formerly, he was useless to you, but now he has become useful both to you and to me. I am sending him, who is my very heart, back to you. I would have liked to keep him with me so that he could take your place in helping me while I am in 
chains for the gospel but i did not want to do anything without your consent so that any favor you do would not seem forced but would be voluntary perhaps the reason he was separated from you for a little while was that you might have him back forever no longer as a slave but better than a slave as a dear brother he is very dear to me but even dearer to you both as a fellow man and as a brother in the lord so if you consider me a partner welcome him as you would welcome me if he has done you any wrong or owes you anything charge it to me i paul am writing with this i'm writing this with my own hand i will pay it back not to mention that you owe me your very self I do wish, brother, that I may have some benefits from you in the Lord. Refresh my heart in Christ. Confident of your obedience, I write to you, knowing that you will do even more than I ask. And one thing more, prepare a guest room for me because I hope to be restored to you in answer to your prayers. Epaphras, my fellow prisoner in Christ Jesus, sends you greetings. And so do Mark. Aristarchus, Demas, and Luke, my fellow workers, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit. Psalms and Proverbs, Psalm 119, verse 1212128. I am. I have done what is righteous and just. Do not leave me to my oppressors. Ensure your servant's well being. Do not let the arrogant oppress me. My eyes fail looking for your salvation looking for your righteous promise deal with your servant according to your love and teach me your decrees i am your servant give me discernment that i may understand your statutes it is time for you to act lord your law is being broken because i love your commands more than gold more than pure gold and because i consider all your precepts right I hate every wrong path. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Please, if you're here and you would like to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior, kindly repeat this prayer after me. Believing in your heart every single word you say, Lord Jesus, I confess my sins and I ask for your forgiveness. Please come into my heart as my Lord and Savior. Take complete control of my life and help me to walk in your footsteps daily by the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving me and for answering my prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Congratulations if you said this prayer. We are so excited to welcome you to God's family. Kindly go ahead right now. Send us an email. Let us know you gave your heart to Christ. Someone is going to reach out to you. And pray with you and help you in your new walk of faith. The email address is salvationinchrist101 at gmail.com. That is salvationinchrist101 at gmail.com. God bless you. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, and on TikTok at Sandra Boyo Areleba. Thank you so much for being here again today. It's always a pleasure having you here. I look forward to another amazing day with you tomorrow. Have a blessed day today. I love you. Bye.